Hello, and welcome to another episode of Plain Old Gaming. We are here in the Pony again, and we're off to find some coffee. Or at least, make some. So, I'm off to Tony's store to mix up the ingredients we have collected so far. Which is the black powder, the chili pepper, and the stimulant. To the village center. And then we're going to go and visit uh, Wenzel in his house. See what he's up to. See if we can cause some trouble. Black powder. A pinch of black powder. Chili pepper. One whole chili. And stimulant. Stimulant. Grind it up. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer. <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. <laughs> Alrighty. Lots and lots of walking going on right now. Come on, Rufus. All right, to this Wenzel's, Wenzel's house. house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. More like condescending, Wenzel. Alright, let's see. Later. Exactly. I don't want to talk to this fool anyway. Let's see if we can... Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere. And once I'm rich, we'll split 50-50. <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. <laughs> Let's go cause some trouble in here. Put that onto there. And cause some more trouble. There's nothing more fun than Flooding your friend's house. Perfect. This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. <laughs> Just wait, Rufus. Just wait. To the basement. 
Alright. Let's do some more shenanigans in here. Drill. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's do it up. To the water reservoir. Oh, <laughs> whenever we get there. This is a pretty big village, I guess, for a thing of trash. Whatever. Here we go. Whoa. Perfect. Oh, look at that delicious water. Just ah. Poor Wenzel. His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Quickly now. If you can walk any faster. Hang on. There we go. Wenzel? I'm down here. Come quick. You won't believe your eyes. <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... <laughs> Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining life, you are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment, the moment of triumph. Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding one? It's not my tea. I see. I'm rich! Man. We almost played a good prank, but apparently Wenzel got lucky. Come on. But he allowed us to take his divining rod. There, I can see it clearly. Rip, and there's a dead beetle. Let's get out of this gross flooded basement. Alrighty. Let's go cause some more trouble. Tony's house. Now that we have sponge, we can do some other stuff. Sponge with our fancy water. I don't like the direction that he's taking at all. Oh, just a little bit of cleaning won't kill you. Maybe. <laughs> this windshield. See what we can see. Yeah. Is this really necessary? Oh. <laughs> the seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. 
Well, that helps though, so let's go. Let's go find some car keys. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Exactly. <laughs> what exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Oh. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugar Puff. But I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And, uh, do you have a special hobby? Ballet? I, uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine. <laughs> oh, wow. He's forgetful and has no idea what sarcasm is. What a guy. Use the key on the door. And there it is. Okay. Got the hood open. Oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? Hmm. Drill of doom? I want the battery acid. And I, oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access to the... Ah! Ow! <laughs> yeah! Ow! Okay, this presents a new problem. I should take that. Ah! <laughs> but not with bare hands. Well, before we solve the next problem, I'll end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye.